Hi, Dr. Jeff and I'm going to talk about the Ironman Triathlon Transition Bags. What do you do with these things? You go down there for pack and pick up, you're nervous enough about the race, you get all this gear and then they give you a bunch of bags. What do you do with them? That's what I'm going to talk about. When you go down to your pack and pick up, they're going to give you five bags, okay? And I'm going to talk a little bit about what they're for and what do you do with them. So, firstly, the bags. One bag is a dry clothes bag, one bag is a swim to bike bag, bike to run bag, bike special needs, and run special needs. So, the dry clothes bag first. That's for race morning, okay? That's to put your, your clothes in right before you go for your swim. So you don't do with anything with that bag. You just keep that bag with you and take that down on race morning. So you got your sweatshirt on, you got your shoes on, you got whatever gear on you want to keep, keep uh, warm. Take all that stuff off, put it in the dry clothes bag, and then you'll throw that in a pile before you go to swim, and then you can get that those, those, those clothes back. So that's your dry clothes bag. Now you got your swim to bike bag and your bike to run bag. And usually those bags need to be dropped off the day before the race. So, and, and all these bags would be usually a different, a different color. Um, one quick tip here though on the transition bags. All these bags are going to be placed, you know, in in order of your number, but they all look the same. So I do suggest taking a marker and market your bag, or, or make some identified mar markers on it, or, or tie a, a, a ribbon, a colored ribbon on it. It's going to definitely help you when you come out of the, the water, you're running up, there's a big line of all these swim to bike bags. You, even though you got your number, they're all jam packed in there, and the volunteers will do their best to try to hand them to you. Uh, but if you have some little identifying markers on it, it makes it a little bit more uh, easy to, to pick it out. So, back to the, so you got the swim to bike bag and your bike to run bag. And these bags are usually dropped off the day before. And you can get into these bags race day morning. Okay? So, your swim to bike bag, that's basically all, the, all your cycling gear. Everything you absolutely need to ride your bike is going to go in that bag. That's your helmet, your shoes, your cycling jersey top, what sunglasses, basically everything you need to, to, to bike. So when you get out of the water, you're going to run up and grab your swim to bike bag, run in the changing tent, put all your cycling gear on, and you can take all your goggles, your swimsuit, and dump it in there. The volunteers in the tent will do that for you, okay? So you can just take that off and say, hey, we put all that stuff in my bag. Um, and they, like I said, they do have your, your number on it. So that's your swim to bike bag. All your cycling gear goes in that. And like I said, you need, usually need to drop these things off the day before the race. But race day morning, you could get in there. So maybe you, you forgot to, um, it's cold and you didn't put arm warmers in there. Uh, or something like that. You could go ahead and get in there and you could stick your you know, extra gear in there um, too. So your, your bike to run bag, that's all your stuff that you need to run. That's your running shoes, a change of socks, visor, whatever you need to run. And you get into that bag, once you get off your bike, you hand off your bike, you run up and you pick up your bike to run bag, and just like your swim to bike bag, you put all your cycling gear back into that bag. So you're going to take out all your running gear, your shoes, your visor, whatever you need to run, and take all your helmet and all your cycling gear and shoes and dump them into these bags. And you will get these bags back. Now, you also get two special needs bags, okay? You get a bike special needs bag and a run special needs bag. And these bags you get uh, basically about halfway on the bike course or halfway on the run course. And these bags are, like what they are, special needs. Anything you think that you might need halfway through the bike or halfway through the run goes in, in this bag. So good things to put in there are maybe some extra CO2 um, canisters, uh, an extra uh, tube, uh, any type of food here. So if you're, you're craving, um, whatever you crave when you go for the long bikes, load this bag up. I've seen people put coolers in this thing. Uh, one of my favorite things is freeze a Coke the night before and stick it in here, especially for hot races. Uh, you freeze it, by the time you get that, red, that bag, it's still cold. So little snacks, you know, a bunch of little snacks, um, extra nutrition if you're using any, any type of powders or anything like that. Um, 
my experience is, on the bike special needs bags and the run special needs, it's better to have it in there and not use it than to not have it in there. Meaning, you know, sometimes I just, oh, maybe a potato chip or a pretzel or uh, potatoes. I use potatoes. I love having a few, something solid -y. You grab that bag, you open it up, you know what, it, maybe it sounded like great nutrition when you put it in that bag, but now you're halfway through the bike and you just, you don't want it. Um, that's fine, you know, it's better off not to use the stuff than to not have it in there. So you get this, the bike special needs halfway in the bike, and uh, one thing about the bike special needs and the run special needs, don't put anything in there that you don't want to, uh, you don't want to lose. They'll try to get those things back to you. Uh, but those ones always don't go, come back to you, and they're pretty much just dumped in, in, a, in a pile. And, and sometimes some people will go through the bags. Maybe other people forgot nutrition, and they'll go. They might go through another bag um, and scavenge through them. Um, and you, so your run special needs is basically you get that halfway on on the run course. And again, anything you might need on the run, maybe some. Um, uh, maybe a sweatshirt, uh, a change of clothes, long sleeve shirts if, you, if you're going into a, a course. Um, more food, extra nutrition. Like I said, it's better to have it. Now your, your run special needs and your bike special needs, you usually can drop that off race day morning. So typically, you um, swim the bike, your bike to run, you drop off the day before. Like I said, you can get into those. Your bike special needs, your run special needs, you typically drop those off race day morning. First thing when you get down to the race before race, find where you drop these bags off and drop them off. Um, and hey, you know, things happen, okay? Sometimes, you know, they lose these bags. Um, it hasn't happened to me yet. I've done eight of them and they've always been there, but I've had buddies who they, they lose their bag, okay? So um, that, that can happen. So I hope that, um, that, that explains a little bit of what to do with the. Uh, uh, Ironman transition bags. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to drop me a line.